Hi friends, welcome to the channel. Today we are going to see how to calculate factor loading, eigenvalue and communality manually in factor analysis. The steps and formula is given in research methodology book written by C. R. Kothari. The first part is we have to find out the correlation matrix for given data and we have to notify the negative correlation if it is so we convert the negative into positive values by using absolute excel function and we have to add columns and find their grand sum for factor loading column sum divided by square root of a grand sum this is the data I have collected 290 question asked respondents for a factor score uh, variable a attributes 1 to 10. Out of this data, the correlation matrix is found out. Now, I am this correlation matrix, there is no negative, but we apply the absolute value for. And then we add the sum of all column and the grand sum. And then to this factor loading, column sum divided by square root of grand sum. This value for all rows, so I make it constant. And then we find this value. This is actual factor score but we have to confirm this score whether it is right or wrong by row and column cross multiplication cross product see once that these values are pasted this value appear see only this value is here when all values are comes automatically it is formatted that value is called so 0 0.8 0 0.8 into 0 0.8 Six four seven into seven forty nine point seven four into point seven four point five five. So now we apply the formula sum sum of column and grand sum and we apply the formula square root of this value 6 plus 6. now we temp the factor 1 is verified 0.8 0 0.8, 0 0.79, 0 0.79, 0 0.74, 0 0.74. So this is the first factor score. This is factor one. We go for the second after the first factor verified. Uh, this is a um, if both table values are the same, the confirm factor score. And the table four get first uh, matrix of residual coefficient by subtracting table three from table two. Table 3 from table 2. Table 2 value is 1 minus 0.64. We get 0 0.63. Uh, so, similarly, we got this residual value after subtracting that previous score. We find some 
coefficients are negative so we converted the values into positive we do the same process sum Copy it. We find transom for factor score. Square root of this value six. Close. Copy. Used in all cells, we get this is the second factor score, and uh, the second factor score is taken for the next table for row column cross multiplication. So, all the values are calculated, and uh, we go for finding the sum of scores in the column. Paste in all cells. Transform, and we apply the formula to now we compare the values of factors point. Two seven point two seven point zero four six zero four six. So the factor two also confirmed. This is second factor. And for uh, third table, we do some residual from the latest two <coughs> table. The absolute value minus the cross product remaining we get. So in this table, we find a lot of negatives. So the same thing is converted into absolute positive value, and we got. The sum also, we are going to get the grand sum. Square root. And then we are verifying with a cross Here, the factor 3 is not confirmed because it has a lot of uh, negative value, so it takes more iteration. Uh, <coughs> in SPSS, we can find the iteration in factor analysis that is 25, but the Excel it will take long time. But we understand how the variables or factors are calculated. Let us see. Let us confirm this variable factor score with our manual calculation. This is common matrix. Thank you. 
so this value can be compared let me compare the factor 1 manual calculation with the factor score from SPSS. See, we find very low difference because this difference due to uh, decimal places in SPSS and the Excel calculation. So, that is why the manual calculation and the SPS calculation are more or less the same. So, the factor score is calculated in this way and the same score is confirmed with SPSS.